Hello again everyone, this is Richard here at the Car Barn and today I am driving in a 2016 This is the Ford Explorer Unbelievably nice to drive uh, If you haven't driven one, definitely come check it out It's uh, got plenty of room, not too big, not too small uh, Of course I'm just going on my opinion But everything we drive here at the Car Barn The reason we do the videos is to give you total transparency and Things that we notice about a vehicle and things that we would want to know about if we were going to take a trip, you know, up the street, uh, across the state, whatever the case may be, to come and look at a vehicle. We want you to know everything we would want to know about a vehicle before you make that trip. So we drive them around, we check them out. Uh, this is after our service department has gone through and serviced anything that needs fixed, replaced, repaired, whatnot. Uh, sometimes that'll get done before it's even been detailed and uh, we want to give you that opportunity to know as much information that before uh, I guess somebody else you know gets a chance to buy the vehicle in case that might be you know exactly what you were looking for or whatever the case may be but anyway I've uh, been driving around it's nice it's smooth it's quiet runs good shifts good all of that good stuff but I wanted to pull over it's a little hot outside so I've got the air blowing it's nice and cold but while it's still running, I want to take a look at the inside and kind of give you a quick uh, overview real quick. Nice, uh, simple layout. You can see all of the features right here. If you got everything, it is touch, touch screen, as you Search can see. Search for sync on your device. And now, I don't want to sync my phone gone. to it, but obviously you can see that it works. It's got a pretty nice setup there. And then down below, you've got your heat and air conditioned seats as well. And that's for driver and passenger side. So pretty nice setup. It's got a nice sound system. Don't have it on a good station, but just in really good shape. You've got a push button start. And down below, you got a pretty simple layout here. It does have the sync system on that. If you're not familiar with that, you can uh, take a look at that. Google it. It's pretty cool for uh, lots of options there. And then... Uh, Real quick, we'll point out, as you can see on the dash here, if I can, uh, I, don't, I don't have my glasses on, so some of these buttons I am not seeing very well myself to uh, take a look at. But you do have navigation. Some of these controls you can work with right on the steering wheel, as well as cruise control and whatnot. So it's a pretty neat setup. Um, this one only has 28,910 miles on it. So again, I'm going to leave it running. We're going to open the door. We're going to take a look at the inside, the outside, and whatnot. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. You can reach me at 435-773-2022 or text. Uh, see the information there on our video links. And uh, just going real quick over it. Door panel. Looks like it's in really good shape. Driver's seat. you got controls for front back bottom everything as well as lower back lumbar support seats in excellent excellent condition uh it's like brand new and uh in really good shape it's a non-smoker vehicle there's no holes there's no tears and uh what you're seeing over there is just a reflection you'll get around to the other side and see it does have a sliding sunroof dash Let's see in good shape it looks like somebody had a radar detector or something mounted up here so we got a little bit of some glue to clean off there again you're seeing this one after it's been inspected but not even cleaned up yet so you get an idea of how good a condition this is really in. a couple things i want to point out that i really like about this one you got controls for moving the pedals up and down for little short guys like me and then steering wheel is uh automatically adjustable so very very nice to be able to dial this in really really a comfortable uh on the road travel kind of vehicle so take a look in the back oops didn't unlock the doors there that might help and i'll close the front it's not so noisy unbelievable amount of leg room in this you know when you want it to be you do have the rubber floor mats i don't know if you noticed that in the front as well but these are uh, everywhere, so you've got really good condition of carpets underneath. Door panels in good shape. Seats are in good shape. Real neat feature about the Ford Explorers. I, I've only got one hand to do it with because I'm holding this, but you can recline 
the seats uh, as well as, you know, scooting them back and forth. So that's pretty handy as well. And uh, kind of nice there. I'm going to reach over and just you can see back seats. Two more seats there that fold down into the floor, which is pretty awesome. And a rear sunroof area, which makes it really nice and open feel. Take a quick look in the back. As you can see where the seats will fold down in. Sort of like some of the minivans do. Uh, give you a lot of usable cargo space there. So pretty handy with that. And then it does have the push button that closes the tailgate. And that's as well as on the trunk. Do have a little bit of damage right here on the trunk something that might be able to be worked on and um, coming on this side door panel is in really good shape seats carpets the seat backs are also in really good shape really good there and driver's side passenger side I should say excellent shape there and you do have the lower lumbar support as well on this side. And in excellent shape there. So going around the outside now real quick. Kind of take a look for there. Got some bright sunlight today. Runs and drives awesome. This is the six cylinder. Going down the body. Uh, excellent condition. I think down, going down this way see any real dents or dings i'm sure there's some minor minor hair type scratches if we really wanted to look close tires are in excellent shape and both of them matching on this side and going around the back we already pointed this out on the tailgate something that we may want to look at and then uh there's a little uh i believe it's a little uh, spoiler that goes up on the top here Looks like that came off at the time and uh, going around the back you do have the backup sensors as well in the bumpers as well as a backup camera right here and then going down this side the body looks like it's in really good shape as well so great great condition overall on the outside other than the tailgate um, super low miles so really a nice nice vehicle for the year if you have financing questions, feel free to give us a call as well at 435-215-7362. We've got a lot of the credit unions and programs that work really well with those. You can uh, go to barnloan.com and fill out a real quick online application to get a pre-approval for you. Glad to help you out there. Hopefully this video has helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.